Hey everybody, I'm Chris Kiefer with Kiefer Inc. Testing and you are watching the Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com Tips and Tricks. This episode's all about handlebar setup. So usually when you get a new bike or if you have an older bike, handlebars most likely will need to be changed. Case in point, brand new 2019 KTM 450 SXF. I feel like the handlebar is too wide. It comes stock with 811 millimeters of width. Standard width of handlebars are normally between 800 millimeters and 804. So for me, 811 is a little wide. For you guys back east in the woods, you even cut your handlebars down even further from 800. But for us moto guys that ride, you want a standard between 800 to 804. So I cut this down a little bit to make it a little bit narrower and fit my body a little bit better. I'm 5'11", 170, and I like to have a lower bar bend. So for you guys out there that are taller and you guys need some height in your bars, try to get the height from the bar mount itself. You can either A, purchase a set of taller bar mounts, or if you guys are on a budget like me, you can get spacers from any handlebar manufacturer. They sell spacers for their mounts. Put a spacer in between your bar mount and your triple clamp, and that'll get you the height desired that you want. And try to go with a flatter, more lower profile bar. On this one, I went with the Husqvarna stock bar because the height is about 80 millimeters. And it's good for anywhere between 5'7 to 6 foot, 6 foot 1 to get a bar that's between 80 to 87 millimeters in height. Again, if you need to get the height, go with the bar mount. That leaves you a better feeling when you're setting up for corners. If you have a bar that's super high, your body positioning is going to be off when you're coming into corners and it's going to be tough to corner. So again, bar mount height, get that and get a lower, flatter bar. Another important factor when it's deciding to what you guys want to do with handlebars, get a handlebar that flexes the right way. Neck and bars, Renthal bars, Mika bars, Pro Taper bars, there's so many out there. That's up to you to decide what you guys want to do. But for me, I like to have a bar that flexes a little bit. I'm 40 years old, I got old joints. For those guys out there riding a long time, I know you can understand. So I go with a Pro Taper Evo bar without a crossbar, and that gives me a lot of flex in the bar. So I have some, a little, what I call a little bit of dampening feeling when I'm landing or going over very harsh square edge or stutter bumps. That's important for me. For those of you guys that like a crossbar, that's fine. You can do that too. There's twin walls. There's um, Pro Taper offers fusion bars where you can unlock them. You can log on to RockyMountainATVMC.com. They have those, you can view those there. But again, it doesn't matter. Try to find one that flexes the most for you guys out there. Also, another important factor for me to give to you guys out there is when you guys do pick a bar, it's very important that you guys always learn the fact that the bar bends are critical, but also look at the sweep. The sweep is also important. When you guys look at handlebars, there's an A, B, C, D, E on the grid. The E is always the sweep. You don't want a bar that has a lot of sweep, so it's gonna feel like in your lap. And what that is gonna do, is gonna cause you to roll your bars up, and now your body positioning is off again. Last but not least, handlebar lever placement. Man, I see levers all over the map when I go to these tracks. Some guys have these levers all the way down, or some guys have these levers all the way up. I try to find a flat, neutral position where your wrist can relax with the lever. You don't wanna have your lever so far down that your elbows are up and now your wrists are down. And what that does, that gives you more pounding to your joints and your wrist. You don't want that. You want your wrist relaxed, especially when you're jumping. So try to find the front brake lever and the clutch even with your throttle and your left side grip over here. You want that in a natural relaxed position for your wrists. So that's the basics of handlebar setup. If you guys want to learn more, you can head over to keferinktesting.com, click on podcast and listen to the Kiefer Tested Podcast where we go over many different handlebars, positions, styles, 
and we kind of rate each handlebar for you guys out there. So check them out, RockyMountainATVMC.com, Kiefer Tested Podcast. And if you guys are deciding going to buy anything, you guys know where to go. RockyMountainATVMC.com is the one-stop shop.